Have you been running down the batteries in your RV thinking you can just start your generator to recharge them? Don't make my mistake. Hey kids, this is Mark with BusyDadRVLife.com where we encourage you to get out there and make your memories today with your family. So I'm out at our motorhome today and I'm doing a little bit of maintenance and uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble starting the generator and I wonder if anybody can guess why. Yeah, if you were to check our panel here, we've only got 11 and a half volts on the coach batteries. And to be honest, uh, they've probably run down a little bit too far. Suffice to say, 11 and a half volts is pretty close to non-existent for charge. And that's why when I push this generator button, nothing is happening. In fact, it's just turning over the generator a little bit, but there's not enough juice there to uh, get it started. So I've learned a lesson today. You know, I've always wondered like, where does the generator get its power from? And for some reason, I thought maybe it's got its own battery, but I never thought to look, or maybe it runs off the chassis battery. But in fact, it's using the uh, coach batteries. So your deep cycle batteries are used to start your generator, and that's why I'm not getting anything to happen here. So the good thing is, if you start the engine in your coach, then eventually you should be able to get enough charge from the alternator through to your coach batteries to get some kind of charge into them. Uh, you do have to wait, at least in this coach, you have to wait for a solenoid to trip over and then you can start the process. So in the meantime, I get to wait. Eventually you'll check your levels and you'll see that that solenoid is switched over and now the alternator is running and charging up the coach system. So you've got good voltage and maybe now I can start the generator. So there you go folks, take it from me, don't let your batteries run down so far where you have to deal with this inconvenience. But at least now I know, or at least now I've remembered how the system works. And as long as I have a chassis battery that's strong enough to start my engine, then I should be able to get some voltage to start the generator. So I hope that was helpful to you. Hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and not let your batteries run down where you can't start your generator. You know, I probably should replace the batteries too. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And remember, if anything else, get out there and make your memories today with your family.